All right, how's it going everyone? Today we are looking at how to install Mod Assistant and how to download custom songs into Beat Saber. Normally I do tutorials on Beat Saber Mod Manager, but that's old school as of now and time to keep it fresh and simple with Mod Assistant. Here we go. Now I'm going to do a clean install in order to prevent common issues that come up when installing mods into the game. This is the most recommended method and I don't want to have to repeat steps towards the end for some error so like I said, start fresh. First and foremost, copy all your custom folders whether that be songs, sabers, or avatars just simply put them on your desktop. Once that is done, open the system you can use to purchase the game whether it be Steam or Oculus. I'm on Oculus since I use that, but you can follow if you are using Steam as I will put text instructions in this video. The setup is the same except for file path locations. Now click on the three dots down below the game in order to uninstall. You can see I have my file explorer open to the path of Beat Saber to show you what's going on. Since I uninstalled it, it removed the file which we wanted, then install it again and it appears back. Run it once and quit out. This is very important. You do not want errors because of this. Once that is done, head over to bsaber.com and head over to the plugins tab and right below is the mod section. Click on it, then click on mod assistant. It will bring you to the page in order to install the mod assistant's exe file. Make sure it is the latest version by clicking the latest release highlighted in green. Once downloaded, you open it and it will try to find where Beat Saber is located. If it fails, you have to do it manually, which is the case for me. I go and search the file path for the game, which I know is in my G drive since I put it in there. Next, a pop-up will tell me to make sure I get the right version, which is on the bottom left. The text in the middle is just a brief statement that tells us the mods are separate entities from Beat Saber, so if the mods don't work or messes with the game, the Beat Saber game is not to blame. Most likely those mods need to be updated because of a game patch or update. Click agree and mod section is available. There's already pre-checked mods already for you to just install and you can go through and pick the other ones that you want. I suggest the SIPA mod list to see the mods you have running in the in-game viewer. I selected all the ones I want and you can see a brief description on the right of them. Highlight one and hit more info to get another page for more details about it. Once done, just hit install or update. Over to the options tab, make sure the file path is set to where B Saber is located and check everything. This will save, check and update your mods and on top of that, a one click feature to easily install in songs. More on that later. The game type will match to where you got the game, Steam or Oculus. Make sure that is correct. You jump over to the plugin folder to see your mods but they aren't showing. That is because you need to run the game after installing them. First run the IPA application and when that's done, click any button to close it. Click play and now all the custom folders, files and mods have been installed. Now you can just copy your files over and drop them. My custom songs folder will later be renamed and move into the Beat Saber data folder once I start the game. I start the game and you can see all my songs are there. I go back to my file explorer and now it's in the Beat Saber data folder and rename custom level with numbers. I could have just dropped the songs into the custom levels folder that was there but I guess it's just old habits of mine. 
Essentially, you want to move all your songs into the custom levels folder instead of the one it created with numbers so you don't have duplicates. Then delete the numbered one. In the game, you see two mod tabs. One for the list of mods you install so you can check which ones you have and the other for your savers, avatars and other mods you can enter into. Now how to install custom songs? Well first you want to go back to bsaver.com and from there you want to go to the songs tab and then you have multiple options as to what you want to search for from the top list to most difficult or a set amount of time from when they were released, so 7 days, 30 days, or all. Now I already went ahead and decided to pick the Happier Sunflower and Prayer of the Refugee in order to uh, show you how I downloaded them into Beat Saber. The first option is Sync Saber. You don't really need to do anything with this button because I didn't see a Sync Saber uh, mod within the mod assistant. Then you have the Twitch request code. So basically if you see your favorite Twitch streamer playing Beat Saber and you want them to play a specific song, then you can just simply go here, click on that, and give you the, uh, the code for it. And then you can just type it into the, or paste it into the Twitch chat to request it. Then you have the zip file. You can download the zip file for the song and then you can just manually put that song into the folder of where all the songs are located. Then there's this one, the one click install. Now this is the one that I was talking about before when we were installing the mods and all that in the uh, mod assistant. This will allow you to simply just click on that specific song and you would immediately get that song sent into the beat saver folder. So this saves plenty of time, it's super easy, it's just like how the name is, one click install. So you literally just need to click on that and you can get whatever songs you want. But in order to determine what kinds of songs you want, there's two other features that bsaber.com uh, has that you can determine which song you want. You can listen to the song in your browser by clicking the, uh, the music icon that's here. Last but not least, you have the uh, preview button, which basically previews what it will be like for that specific song and the different levels that you uh, want to experience. So once you click on that, you'll get an in-game preview of what it will be like. The notes are popping up, and then you can also change the difficulty of what you want to see. You can grab the viewer to move around and stuff. You can also click on the song title, and you can see all the information to like who the person created this map, what are the reviews, and all of that. So yeah, you just do the one-click install. I'm gonna do that for the Happier Sunflower, and then I'm gonna open Mod Assistant, yes. And then that's basically all you have to do for that. And then we're gonna go over to Prayer of the Refugee, Rise Against, and we're gonna be doing the zip file. So I have Bandy Zip, I'll put a link if you guys wanna use that, or use whatever you're uh, using for opening zip files, but I use Bandy Zip. Uh, super easy. From there, you just want to simply copy and paste your file path to the Beat Saber data folder. And I, I kind of like uh, messed up on here because I was supposed to be putting it into my custom levels folder instead of my custom levels and then one, two, three, what, whatever the, the number was for that folder. So make sure you always put any song into the custom levels folder and not the secondary custom levels that it was created. Once I do all of that, I go back in, it will already start loading all the songs that is found in that specific folder. And you can see if we just filter through my songs to newest, you will find that those two songs are at the very top. Now I find downloading songs with the one click the easiest method. I just showed the zip file in case something happens to a one click method. You can download songs in game through the mod tab and into the more song section where you can search songs, but it doesn't play the music nor does it show a preview of the level. I've gotten songs through there where I immediately regret it and just delete the song. 
Hopefully they can put something similar to the video preview in bsaber.com. Anyways, I hope this video helped and if you have any questions feel free to ask and like in my other Beat Saber tutorials, I will try my best to help and answer them in the comment sections. I really go out of my way to try to answer them and even hit up the Beat Saber mining discord to find the answers that I don't know. Consider joining it and you won't regret it, they are very helpful. Like I said, a clean install is the way to go and make sure all file paths are correct when setting up the mod installer. And make sure all the file paths are correct and that are leading back to the Beat Saber folder. Give this video a like if it helped, share it and subscribe for more future content as it helps grow my channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links will be in the description. My name is Legionnaire and I bid you all a good day.